Here's how I can make this motion blur text effect here in Photoshop. First, I'm gonna go with this artboard size as a reference. And let's go to the layer with the text, right click on it, and select Convert Smart Object. Press Ctrl T, and I'm gonna scale it all the way up next to the size of the artboard. And I'm gonna press Ctrl R to activate the ruler and drag the ruler. I'm gonna go with the ending of the letter P, drag it there. And I'm gonna drag another one at the beginning of the letter R. And I'm gonna press and hold Control. Let's go to the letter piece corner, drag it on the right. Also press and hold Shift to isolate. I'm gonna bring it somewhere here and I'm gonna repeat the same step with the right side. And I'm also gonna press and hold Control and bring this down. Now without the Shift, just the Control. Double click and I'm also gonna scale it down. Rename the text layer, press Control J to duplicate, motion blur. Bring the motion blur under the text top. Let's select the motion blur layer and let's go to the filter. Let's go to blur gallery and select the path blur. Now here we got this arrow going on and all you need to do is just drag it here at the side. So we're going to make it like perfectly parallel like so. Now we're going to go here to the settings. Make sure to uncheck center blur. And here I'm going to increase the speed all the way up. I'm going to go with like 424 and let's go to the taper and I'm going to increase the taper. I'm gonna go with like 27. I also can edit the end blur shape here. So all you need to do is click on one of these points and here you can emphasize this blur effect. Click OK. Now here we're gonna need to emphasize this blur effect. So what we need to do is press Ctrl J on this blur layer. So now it's gonna start looking more intense. I'm gonna press Ctrl J again and I'm gonna do it again and again. So in total, I'm gonna have like five copies and we're gonna need to add some blur so we can make these lines disappear. So let's go and select all the layers with the blur, right click on them and select convert a smart object. Now let's go to the filter, blur and select Gaussian blur. Now add a little bit of blur. So it's gonna make those lines disappear a little bit more. I'm gonna go with like 8.2, click OK. And I also want to make the top area more sharp. So I'm going to go to the small filters mask at the Gaussian blur, click on it. And let's go and select the brush. Make sure that you're on the black color. And I'm going to remove the blurriness from here. So I'm going to make it more sharp here. It's going to add more details. Now we're going to need to add gradient maps in between these text layers. So make sure that you're on the text motion blur. Select the layer and let's go to the adjustments. Let's go and select the gradient map and click on the gradient. And here we're going to go to this handle and double click on it. And here we can choose a color and I'm going to go with orange, click OK. And if you want to add another handle, you can click somewhere here and that way you can add another color. In my situation, I'm going to go with these nuances, click OK. Now let's go and double click on the text top layer. And here I'm going to activate the gradient overlay. Here make sure that the angle is on 90 degree angles, click on the gradient. And here you can switch up the colors. I'm gonna go with some yellow, click OK. Let's go to the other one and recolor it. Click OK and click OK. So now as you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see that blur effect is gonna come out at the top. So I'm gonna go and press and hold shift, select all the layers, right click on them, convert a smart object. And we're gonna go and select the crop tool and we're gonna crop this area down and double click. And that's how you make this motion text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.